Here we are in Huskisson in Jarvis Bay at Husky Triathlon Festival and it's one of Australia's longest running triathlons. It's nice and flat at the moment so hopefully it stays like this for race day. So the boys aren't out yet but the swim start is on the beach here somewhere. So according to the athlete guide the age group swim start is beach swim start. The pros have a deep water start and there's no warm up Oh, no water warm-up allowed for age group athletes so we're starting on the beach just over there and the pros will start in the water so the elite males are at 6.30 elite females 6.31 and then they head off after that to until the aqua bike leaves at 7 a.m my wave is at 6.51 a.m the females 40 plus there's only two waves after that the teams and the aqua bike so everyone else will be gone before that so I'll be one of the last ones to head off. So that looks like the start of the swim. Head out there, I do two laps and then go back in this way and up the stairs. The swim today looks pretty nice. The water is beautiful, calm. We didn't actually feel how cold it was, but I'm sure we'll find out on race day whether it's wetsuits or not. We did see a couple of dolphins swimming in the water, so if dolphins scare you, you know, maybe don't think about that when you're swimming, but it just looks beautiful. The water looked really clear. Can't wait to have a swim. There's also a swim on Friday afternoon if you wanted to test out what the water is like. much calmer than a couple of years ago when we were here. So I'm really looking forward to this swim. So up the stairs, here they are, there's actually carpet down. A few more here, you can see the swim exit and entry into transition straight ahead. Very well signed. So there's the bike exit. So here's an idea of the road surface. It's that sort of granular, but not bad. Can't see any potholes yet. So this is what you'll be riding on. Ellie Salthouse, one of the pros. So we're on part of the bike course and you can just see just down there there's a sign and it says five kilometers to husky so this is the first part where you turn out and then come back in at the moment it's a pretty busy road so i'm glad they're going to be closing it down so here we are doing the race recce and terry who follows our channel spotted us and came over and said g'day so that's terry he's doing the aqua bike good on you mate so the sign says 5k to Husky, so let's assume this first little turnaround's 5k out of town, so that's the first 10k loop, and turnaround is just up there past our van. Coming out from town you come out along this road, so it's, as we said it's about 5k's out and about 5, so obviously 5k's back in. And then you turn left onto Wallamia Road. Most of the road surface is pretty good. There's no shoulder, but obviously with road closures, you'd be able to go out into the middle part of the road. Here we are catching up to Zach and Ellie Salthouse again. Very cool to see the pros out training. And you see Ellie dodges a little bit of a uh, funny spot here goes out a little bit wider rather than staying in on the near the shoulder and then you make a left turn into Fairfax Road so this is like a little loop off to the side that you do so this part's all one way there's no traffic coming back the other way and then you make a right turn into Knoll Parade a little bit of gravel on the corner there so you need to be careful of that and then that's the worst part there's fairly 
you know, maybe a 20, 30 metre section of gravel on the road. So just be careful on that road. And then you make another right hand turn. I think this is Knoll Road. And this part probably was the favorite, my favorite part of the course when I was driving it. So make sure you take some, a few moments to look up and look around at how beautiful that section is there. And then you make a left hand turn and you're back out on that Wallamia Road and you go out a few Ks. Now we didn't go all the way out to the end. We just made a U-turn here. It's just following that road out. So being three laps, by the time you get to your third lap, you should know where the potholes are and the parts to avoid. So that's three laps if you're doing the ultimate. And then you come back along the Wallamia Road and then back into town. go down past transition make another u-turn and then back out and do it all again so the obvious transition area all road so it should be pretty easy to find what row you rack your bike in this is where you would leave transition for the run nice big red sign all right, out onto the run course on this footpath, relatively flat, and the run begins. Grandstands for all your adoring fans. It's where they can cheer you on. Stunning area. A little bit windy, bit of a hill, but I reckon it's pretty well flat. All right, coming back into the transition area, start finish area. And on the run course, obviously. I feel like the run here and then to finish go on the grass. Everyone likes a good grass finish. And this will be the finishing arch. So at the end of it all, you get to run under this and you're done and hopefully qualified for Townsville next year. Yeah. Don't forget, if you see me out on course, make sure you call out, say hi Amanda or hi TriFit. Thanks for racing with us.